Hey guys, Liam here. There is a brand new upgrade available for Proton Experimental, the compatibility tool that you can opt into to run various games on Steam, whether that's on your Steam Deck or your Linux desktop, with all the latest and greatest fixes. As of today, June 30th, there is a new update available, and here is what's new. There is another fix for the Final Fantasy XIV launcher, exiting silently when there's not enough space to download the update, Elite Dangerous and other launchers not working properly when cloned displays are present, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies and the main multiplayer crashing after connecting online, which you can actually see in the background here. I am playing Black Ops 2 multiplayer on the Steam Deck. There is also a fix for Azure Lane Crosswave hanging on a black screen for some users. Chrono Trigger randomly crashing during cutscenes. Further improvements to video playback for Persona 4 Golden. They've also implemented Vulcan Other Process Rendering. This is something used by a toolkit to make games called NW.js, which was previously known as Node WebKit, if some of you know what that is. They also implemented network video support for The Good Life and VRChat. So quite a nice little list of improvements and bug fixes there. As always, opting into Proton Experimental is really easy. Just going to give you a quick rundown of what to do. All you need to do is find a game, go to the little cog icon to find the properties, go to the compatibility menu, and then just put a tick in the box and select Proton Experimental from the drop-down box, and you are good to go.